in humans episode 5 thoughts this episode is called something in human this way comes spoilers for everything mcu leading up to and including this episode the show is rated tv pg somehow and so will this video be i found it within me to hate the show again let's dive right in so i i will say i do continue to like karnak and and jen together and and yeah you know he's he's lying there saying you know i'm not used to being with a woman for this long after the first time we have sex this feels as he's like please stay good <laughs> Because it was like 50 50. Like, he, he could easily have said, you know, now I remember why I never stay with the woman for the, you know. And. Let's see. Yeah, we see um, Reno ready up the gun. Very. Yeah, and, and yeah, and he goes and, and shoots at them and Karnak manages to to avoid himself getting getting hit but does you know it, it, the yeah it does injure Jen and not entirely sure that it wouldn't would it not have injured her significantly more it kind of felt like just the writers wanted for the injury to not be so bad that it would, you know, that they would need to go to a hospital. They needed it to be something Karnak and Jen could handle. Let's see. And, yeah, afterwards, Reno's cell phone goes off, and I would love for there to be an outtake where it's like a telemarketer or something. And... Yeah, uh, they finally let Locus out of the trunk. And and yeah, Louise points out to Medusha, so you treat everyone this bad. And then, right after Medusha says, but she tried to kill me, Louise didn't. You've been treating her really badly. Like, Wow. And I think the show actually thought that was her making a good point. Like, you you treated your people badly before any of them tried to kill you. They tried to kill you because you've been treating them bad. And you have the gall to turn around and say, well, of course I'm treating them bad. They tried to kill Just, like, you realize with a, with a slight rewrite, like, this is literally... Like, this is this is like French Revolution kind of kind of like just a complete disregard for for your own people. And let's see, I am all for clear communication, making making you know making sure that that people fully understand a concept. Don't think that five episodes in with Maximus walking, you know, there's all these these statues of, of like inhuman kings and, and queens. Don't think you still need to to put the the text at the bottom like Adelan, Earth's Moon. I think we I, I think we've established that. That that you're you're establishing the heck out of that moon city. Like holy crap if there's one thing that you could be sure that the audience of the shows realizes by now, it's that when you see Maximus surrounded by these big white statues, that's Adelan. Did, were they were they just paid by the the yeah paid extra for each time, which I can appreciate. You know, America needs to pay its workers better, but just it's completely ridiculous. Let's see, and yeah, um, Gorgon thought that the flag would look nice inside the the room, and had to be told by Karnak 
put it back, clean up your hoof prints. Just like, wow. Let's see. And the, like, the fact that Karnak has to keep reeling in Gorgon really helps, like, point out, like, if you needed more evidence, this is a bad system. Like, Gorgon... Gorgon having this kind of... Yeah, he's he's constantly making mistakes when, like... Yeah, moving on. Um, let's see... <laughs> I don't know if the show is trying to be, like, ironic when... I, I didn't catch his name. Let's see if I can find him on the... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not... The, the guy who, you know... He's the guy who kills Gordon. Reno. He's the guy who kills Reno. And, yeah... You know, he literally, he's, he shoots him and then says, I don't trust people who kill their partners. I mean, it's almost a joke. It almost, it, it gets very, very close to being kind of, like, morbidly funny. That, that, yeah. We don't take kindly to folks who don't take kindly. And, yeah, then the, the ch childhood friend of, of Max, you know, leader of the genetic council, is, like, flabbergasted when, when Max starts talking about, you know, forced conscription. They're going to have to earn their freedom, which, I mean, I think they're doing that thing where, like, because it, it, you know, it's reminiscent of, like, Starship Troopers, but that movie actually does point out, you know, it, it, yeah, it has a lot of really salient points about fascism where, you know, this show, is, okay, so we're supposed to think that Max is the bad guy here. Because he is choosing some people who didn't volunteer so that he can stop the eugenicist leaders who, once again, as I feel I thoroughly established in my last, in my video on the episode before this one, have reached stage five or six, depending on if you think that they did indeed you know, if, they're, if they did the fifth one or they skipped the fifth one to get to the sixth one, of the ten stages of genocide. And we're supposed to think he's the bad guy because they're not getting a choice in the matter. Wow. And... <laughs> yeah, uh, Karnak heals Jen. But... You know that thing that a doctor's supposed to do to, to make the patient feel good? Bedside manner. Yeah. His sucks, dude. Like, literally, he's like, okay, I, I, you know, I'm gonna do a thing. And she's like, what thing? And he's like, you're just like Gorgon. Oh, look at this thing. You're talking about surgery, dude. It's fairly logical to ask for details. Just, you know that you've been acting really strange since the two of you met. Like, it, the fact that she trusts you as much as she does is wild. Now, let's see. The, um, yeah, uh, Auron comes back to life and, you know, the, the, <laughs> yeah, just attacks Dr. Declan without trying to find out what's going on at all. And who is she? Medusha? And then the the you have the Yeah, she she takes out the 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 um the other 
person with you know who's got like he's he's attacking her with a scalpel, and you know, yeah, I mean, it's all fun and games until somebody pokes their eye out. I got a real like Universal Soldier like it's memory clearance time vibe off the the yeah that was I appreciated that. Let's see and you know the yeah the part where he like smashes the the protective glass thing of the of the mask reaches in and like does the the thing and then wipes off his his blood. That was, yeah, I should watch that movie again. It's It's been, like, almost two months since I last watched Universal Soldier 1. It's, yeah, really starting to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break out in hives any moment now. And the, let's see, then we have, yeah, I, I appreciate Jen pointing out, you know, we need doubt. You know, the, the fanatics, the people who never doubt, you know. And, and, yeah, that is a really good point and a, and a good counter to, you know, the royal family so far hasn't really been doubting what they've been doing. I think that should have come much sooner, not to mention, you know, finally Medusha is, like, actually confronted about, you know, maybe you should change some things. And finally she's willing to admit maybe, you know, we're, we're not perfect, but we are trying. You didn't really come across as though you were trying. You, you came across as... You didn't really care in earlier episodes. Her and Black Bolt. You know, like, people would literally say, you know, this is gonna completely destroy us, and they didn't present a counter-argument. They just, like, yeah, didn't, didn't say anything. And... I, yeah, it was kind of, you know, Jen is like, I'll, I'm I'm helping. That's at least 14%. And let's see. Yeah, and, and we get more of the, the flashback and the, yeah. You know, Gorgon points out Karnak, even when he's playing, he's not enjoying himself at all. And then Sammy, you know, melts the, the vines and, and runs off. And Mortis, you know, sees that and is like, really? So I guess for this scene, the part of the audience will be played by Mortis. That's honestly how we've been reacting to most things on the show so far. And... Yeah, the, the I, I think it's supposed... The fact that they didn't even consider if Sammy might have powers, I guess it's supposed to be a thing of like, oh, you know, aren't they just as bad as as the, the royals? Let's see. Um, I did not hate seeing what you know, watching Karnak practice with the the staff. And yeah, so apparently Right, yeah, we, we see the <clears throat> we see Crystal and Dave arrive at the, the the beach. And I how was it that like in when they teleported away, Audrey just basically, like, she didn't change her sight line at all. Like, she she was looking directly at Crystal as, you know, yeah, you know, if you fairly, a lot, a lot of people do that when they're talking to someone. They look directly at them. But then, like, the, the dog, like, yes, Crystal also, but the dog itself is, like, teleporting away right in front of her eyes, and she's just still looking directly at Crystal, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say most people would at least look at the the dog, which is also that's why she's there. She doesn't really care about either of these people. She's there to to help this dog. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they arrive on the the beach. Tides go in, tides go out. Can't explain that, and that proves God. And then you have like she explains, you know, it's overwhelming. 
and then they just stay there like i appreciate i it feels like the 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 show bible probably said you know see how many of these characters you can get to to you know get into the the water but it's just like you can appreciate the beauty of you know i i get it i you know it's been a while but i like beaches but the if it's overwhelming for her to be that close to to that you know much much water would she not be like okay i've seen it now let's let's go somewhere else it's not like they can't lockjaw can teleport so just yeah and I do appreciate Dave trying to, to, you know, basically be like, come on, loosen up, cal calm down. And, you know, meanwhile, it is pretty ridiculous. Like, he, he knows there there's a coup going on, right? Like, he knows that they're all being hunted by people who want to kill them. And he's like, let's, let's swim. Just, wow. And see, again, if you really badly wanted something like this, have it be whilst Lockjaw is receiving medical care. Have Audrey say, it's going to take at least two hours for, for me to, to help Lockjaw. And during that time, you know, and, and yeah, since Audrey and Dave can't stand to be in the same room together, have them go to the beach. It's just, okay, I get, technically, they were too far away from the beach at that point, but you could have written it to where they were closer to the beach. Again, this is off the top of my head. This is, it's so easy to fix these writing decisions. And, yeah, then we get a proper fight scene where Karnak uses the staff and like most of the action on the show so far it's just not super impressive and it's not a TV thing I love the action of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Legion The Gifted all of which had aired before this you know so yeah and see. yeah so so Locus points out to, to Medusha some of these problems and you know you have this thing of the the you know she wanted to be a healer but now because of this the caste system she has to be something else and louise even points out can't she be both why is this and and yeah you know it's demeaning every time something goes missing they send her and they keep losing their keys maybe they got to get rid of the key ring it, it it just means that they lose all their keys at once every time and and then we have this whataboutism of like well max is the one who's having you find things now isn't he yeah because he's trying to stop eugenics like just this is like when when people say oh you know antifa they're bad because they're willing to use violence they didn't start the fight antifa just provides a counter to the actual fascist gangs like the proud boys like it's just Holy crap. We're almost through the episode. Um, yes, Gorgon manages to rescue Karnak, and I, you know, they, they do the thing of like, who are you and what have you done with 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 Karnak with, with Gor yeah, you know, yeah, Karnak is like complimenting Gorgon, saying thank you, and, and Gorgon's like, Are you okay? And yeah, you know, it it was fine. It wasn't the worst. And yeah, almost everyone has now been reunited. I'm not entirely sure how there's three episodes left, but there there are. Like at this point, the only person that isn't, yeah, you know, Cr Crystal still needs to get, yeah, um, she's still by herself, but she does have a teleporting dog that, you know, knows what you know yeah where it has teleported before so yeah um not much else to say i i like the the gnarly little bit of 
like body horror when the you know they they remove a thing from the neck of one of the moon inhumans in who in who moons and it's, it's like you know moving and and like d dissolves and so you know that was that was pretty good pretty yeah decently done i think that might at this point Oh right, right, yeah. And at the very, very end of the you know, the the post credit scene, you know, the the yeah, they confront the the you know Max's childhood friend and like you defied Max and it's like no 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 I just you know I, I just told him how some of his people might feel. We are some of those people, you have to help us, you know. That actually yeah, I I you know the the a resistance movement because of this fascist government. I hope I I don't think it'll happen, but I I'd like to see them point out. You know, at once Max is is, you know, I'd be shocked if by the end of this show Max had not been removed from power. I would love for the resistance to then point out. So Black Bolt Medusa, now that we have your ears, yeah. You haven't been doing that wonderful of a job either. You, you know, I'm sure the show is going to claim they weren't as bad as Max. But, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, you know, when, when a dictator takes power, it is quite, you know, a, a lot of times throughout history, there have been these sort of resistance movements and such. And that actually is like, basically, there hasn't really been much threat at all to Max for several episodes now, which I do think is a, is a mistake. You know, he, like, we basically have scene after scene of him going around, you know, he'll, he'll make some statements that we're supposed to think are terrible, even though a lot of the time they really aren't. And, you know, yeah, like, he's, he gives orders, he, there's, there, you know, progress, stat, status reports, that's basically it. But, yeah, finally, there is, a sense that you know maybe there'll be some threat to to him that isn't just for the the royals to to reunite, which you know is taking them forever. We're we're more than halfway through. We're like two thirds of the way through now, and it's just yeah. Or wait, two thirds? What? Whatever. We're we're more than halfway through at least, and. It, it just, yeah, um, yes, the, um, next episode I will cover tomorrow, so, yeah, catch you then.